forget quadcopters and bicycle-like fan frames. The Volanot Airbike is a different beast. This single-seat jet-powered aircraft, developed in Poland by Jetson, one creator Tomasz Patton, goes straight into the realm of raw mechanical design. It's not a work of science fiction. Reductionist flying machines take the illusion out of it. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. This personal hoverbike hovers and glides through the air with ease, demonstrating its overall lightweight structure. As its inventors say, the Volanot airbike is seven times lighter than a conventional superbike because the design team used advanced carbon fiber materials. Additionally, they adopted 3D printing for its components and a minimal design for its overall appearance. Unlike the Jetson 1, this flying superbike has an open air setup there's no frame to confine the pilot. They also lean forward, unlike the lounge-like seating position of EV2Ls. There are no spinning propellers visible around the Volanot airbike. Because of its compact size, this flying superbike can navigate through confined and narrow spaces. During the launch, Tomasz Patton took his personal hoverbike into the air, zooming through valleys and around forests. At first glance, the craft appears unfinished. The floating core of the craft has no wings, no propellers, and no excess surface. Just a solid structural pod that houses propulsion, balance controls, and rider support. The undercarriage looks like a reinforced sketch. Corner struts serve as landing gear, formed from what looks like bent composite tubing. There's no visible suspension or modular mounting points. Everything serves for weightlessness, stability, and flight. There's no enclosure surrounding the pilot, no canopy or side fairings to obstruct the view. Every horizon remains visible. The 360 degree line of sight is deliberate, designed to orient the pilot in real time while maintaining a sense of motion. The Volanot airbike is a surprise. That's because its inventor, Tomasz Patton, has been developing it in stealth mode. No updates have been provided ahead of its launch on May 1st, 2025. In terms of specs, the flying superbike has jet propulsion that takes it into the air. The air vehicle can only carry one person, and it can reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour or 124 miles per hour. The inventor says the Volanot airbike also has a patented stabilization system. The design team refined it using a flight computer, which gives the flying superbike the ability to hover automatically. The design becomes sharper at night, Thin vertical lines glow red, like guide rails that move along the rear mast. This is not meant to show off. It helps other observers track the flight footage and understand the situation. The bike must be parked low. There are no tall vertical sections or extended fins. It looks like it is ready to operate again at any time. It does not hover like a drone when it takes flight. It hits the air. Dust shoots up from below due to directional jet propulsion. There are no fast-moving blades. Lift and thrust come from a closed jet system, which Volanot has not yet explained in detail. The presence of external rotors provides tactical advantages. It can penetrate denser terrain, move closer to vertical surfaces, and operate with fewer safety buffer zones. A proprietary stabilization system runs the show in the background. Inputs are filtered and managed by the flight computer allowing the rider to steer, turn, and hover with fewer corrections. The machine reads quickly and reactively in the test footage, more akin to a powered exoskeleton than an autonomous platform. 